All right guys, this is gonna be the first of uh, a bunch of videos, I guess, that I do um, while I eat my dinner. A lot of you, you know, a lot of you hit me up in the DM on Instagram and uh, you know, you ask me, what did I, what did I do? Why did I, why did I shut down my store? Um, you know, or, or uh, what did you retire, you know, or what did you hit the lottery, you know, uh, you bought this nice big house and you got a brand new truck and, you know, uh, you shut down your store and, you know, uh, you're working from home now. Um, and, um, you know, what a lot of you, a lot of you are, are, that are saying that to me are not really remembering is all of the nights that I was at my store until two, three, four in the morning and then sleeping at my store. Um, you know, waking up at seven, washing my face, going to go get a coffee and, and coming back and just working. You know, all the nights that my family didn't see me, um, that I was at work and that I was learning my, my trade and mastering my trade. Um, So the thing is, you know, a lot of you, when you're asking me, you know, what do you have to do to be like me? You gotta fucking work harder. That's the thing. A lot of you guys that are asking me these questions, a lot of you are store owners or your managers of a store or, you know, you're working for yourself from home or you have a small shop, you know, that's not really a retail location. Um, you know, bottom line is, you know, a lot of you guys are working for yourself. But the thing is, you're not really working for yourself. You're working for yourself. You are, but you're working for yourself like you're working for somebody. And that's, that's the problem. You know, you got to understand, this is, this is basically, you know, this is almost like a 20 hour a day gig, you know? To get to the point where you're badass and where you're cooking and where you're able to get, you know, 15 devices every day for you to fix, um, you know, uh, it takes a lot of hard work. Um, I, you know, I just, I see a lot of you guys, you know, you, you come in late and you leave early and you can't get shit done like that. There's a hundred fucking distractions during the day. You guys are on your phone, you're on your Facebook, you're on your Twitter, you're on your Instagram. And I'm not talking about you just did a repair and you're fucking posting the repair. No, you're fucking, then you're like 10, 15 minutes scrolling, looking, liking, searching, fucking checking out tits and ass. I mean, come on. You're never gonna make it to the top of the game if that's how you're running your shit. So when you're asking me, how did I do this? How did I do that? I fucking, it's real simple. I put in the work. I put in the work and I still put in the work. You're never gonna, you're never gonna catch us guys who are just still sitting at our bench at like two in the morning and we got to our bench, you know, at nine or 10. Some of us don't, some of us don't, don't even fucking think even to go take a lunch break. We just fucking crank. And then we, you know, a lot of us maybe, you know, maybe we scoot, uh, you know, home or what have you, have dinner with our family, you know, do a little family time and then it's back at it once the kids are asleep or what have you. A lot of you guys are single or you got a girlfriend and you're too worried about going out to the movies, about going out on date night, you know, about, uh, you know, uh, playing some fucking video games. You're not going to make it to the top that way. You're going to get stuck in your, you know, you're going to make two, three hundred, maybe four hundred dollars a day. And that's going to be okay for you. And that's going to be enough, you know, and you're going to get by. That's really not enough. I mean, do the fucking math. You make three hundred dollars a day, five days a week. It's fifteen hundred bucks a, a, a week. It's three grand. It's, uh, you know, it's six grand a month. What kind of bills you got? I don't know where you're living. No. So when you guys are hitting me up like that, no, I didn't retire. No, I didn't hit the lottery. I'm still busting my ass. And that's what you guys need to do. The day doesn't end when you go home. 
You've got emails to respond to, you've got Facebook posts to do or other social media posts to do, you know, website management, you've got to run around maybe to suppliers or you've got to place online orders. Um, you know, a lot of you guys won't even stay. You know, oh, I can be there, you know, I can't be there. I get out of work at 6 and you close at 6, but I could be there for like 6.20, 6.30. Do you think you could wait? I just, I got an iPhone 6 screen. Um, you know that I need replaced. I really need it replaced. And a lot of you guys will be like, nope, close at 6. That's it. I'm going home. And I'm thinking, what? Really? You're going home to fucking jerk off, smoke pot, drink beer, play video games, fucking take a nap. A lot of you guys that are saying that, you don't, you don't even have families to go home to. You're just constantly thinking about the break or the reward. But you're so short-sighted that you're like, my reward is to go home at six o'clock sharp. That's my reward. And I'm gonna go home and smoke pot and sit on the couch and play some video games. But that's not the reward. That's like the fucking, that's like the punk off. You know what I mean? That's like, here bro, take this and go fucking sit in the corner. The reward comes from the hard work. The reward is not, not going and buying a piece of bubble gum every day at the store. You know, the reward is at the fucking end of the year, you know, having the, the golden uh, ticket to go to Willy Wonka's or whatever, however you're going to say it, you know. It's to have the fucking box of white chocolates, you know, or something. Not the fucking, you know, not the five cent piece of chocolate down the street. I don't know. Any of you guys... can kick ass in this business, any of you guys. But you're not gonna do it if you're not putting in the work. This is not an eight hour a day industry if you wanna be on top. That's all I gotta say about it.